Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some DC action figures. But before we get on to looking at each and every figure one by one, we thing to go to about a minute, and then we're going to go do every figure here in the DC bucket list. But yeah, these are awesome looking action figures from DC. As you can see, I got some good ones on the table. We got Batgirl. We got Joker. Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Two-Face, Robin, Batman, Cyborg, and Superman. But now that we're done talking about them, let's look at each and every figure one by one. These are like almost like Funko Pops, but they're fast food toys. Look at that Joker. Shake his head around, it looks like, ha, <laughs> laughing. And Wonder Woman's got a gimmick here, too. But hers is so tight, I don't know how it works. Oh, she twirls her hand, so that's what she does, huh? Not bad look at DC action figure, fast food toys. Pretty cool. I love Joker. And I like the Batman. Next, we're going to look at our second Wonder Woman. This is a fast food toy. But she does have a gimmick where she does have a gimmick, but it's real tight. You can really shake her arm like this and move the other arm like this. But no bend at the knees or articulation for this figure. It is a fast food toy figure. So not bad. It is missing a piece. But otherwise, a good looking Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Next, we got this little fast food toy. Batmobile, and as you know, I love Batmobiles, and this is a cool-looking Batmobile. It looks like it used to launch something, but given I got this from the thrift store, I was lucky to get it in this good, good enough shape. But good-looking Batmobile, if I do say so myself. And it rolls very well. Next on the list, we got Batgirl herself. She can be like with the plush and be like, Hello world, it's I, Batgirl, one of Batman's sidekicks. And this is a DC superhero girl, Batgirl, I think. Yeah, so Marks made this. But otherwise, I like Batgirl no matter what version she is. Next on the list, we got some little tiny figures until we get to our posable figures. We got this tiny display figure of Cyborg. Booyah, skadoo! That's my Cyborg impression. Booyah! Here we got this little Batman. He doesn't have articulation, but he is meant for display. And he stands pretty well. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Now we're going to look at our Batman action figures. We're going to start with Two-Face. No knee bends. Elbow's got some bend. You're like, I'll get you, Batman, if it's the last thing I do. Ah, ah, ah. Punch, punch. And the face is really well done and really well sculpted. I love this figure. And this is a Batman Ultimate Batman Batman Ultimate Two-Face, which I do not own, but I do recognize it from Batman Ultimate. But now we're going to look at our other Batman Ultimate figure. We got Batman himself. Now this one's got a lot more articulation, which is pretty cool. Head is not on a ball joint, so it's just molded there in place. My first Batman Ultimate figures. Isn't that cool? I don't have any of these, but I do now. And I never go wrong with a Batman and a Two-Face. That's all there is to say for these figures. 
Articulation is pretty limited. Next, we got a version of everyone's favorite superhero, the Man of Steel, Superman. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know much about this particular Superman. He looks he could be from the 1980s or the 90s. If any of you know who this Superman is, please leave me a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you know who this guy is. I would appreciate the knowledge. Next on the list, we got an old-school Robin. This has got to be from Batman the Animated Series, by the looks of it. So I got me a Robin here. Yeah. And I just lost his little weapon I gave him, his piece to it anyway. But this is a good-looking Robin. I love this figure. Really well sculpted, really well painted. And looks pretty cool. Articulation. Head can do this. Arms can do a full 360. So, yeah. Legs can go back that far. Forward that far. But this is definitely an older Robin. Could be from the 1980s. Or could be from Batman the Animated Series. If you know, leave me a comment on this guy too. But that's all there is to say for all my DC figures. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'd appreciate you continue to show your support for my channel and continue to subscribe. I appreciate it. And to give me more interesting content on these old school figures because I find a lot of old school figures and they're awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.